Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we're here with the September 2022 tier list and we have included Empress and Dead Bastard to this and let's check it out. Okay, so to start off with our tier list, so we have a new tab here. I will put a link to this file in the description so that you may reference this. And for beginners, we don't have any change. Um, this is the lowest tier of this tier list. Then the next would be your below average. Uh, you have Re here, Vasily, and Yuna, probably one of the best for your below average figures. But definitely, they're going to drop off in performance. There's no change here, except that we have bumped up Sanada to too specialized because of his involvement in the current change in the Ignite teams. So if you don't have any, uh, any, what do you call this? Any significant figure to use for your fire team, Sanada Mitsuhide will actually do wonders for you. So I moved him up. He will be good for fire teams, especially if you need another, uh, what do you call this? If you need a defender for your fire team. So he goes up. You have Suzumi, Akechi, Norris, Astaroth, Yamazaki, and Camille to round out your specialized tier. We have next your good figures. Um, Zhao Yun, I considered going, moving him up because of his recent utility in fire teams. But for now, he will have to be there in your good figures. Um, I will have to see if Ignite teams will be be a you know fo will form a part in our meta in terms of pve so in the good figures you have your zao yun yoko osuke sani yuina alfred vivian irans and lafayette rounds this out so we don't have any more for your good figures next up is your above average figures so you have ryuka here of course ryuka is well known for her resurrection. Lubu is good for damage. Uh, supplement perhaps for Galatea. But does not have um, that ignite uh, link. But he can do a lot of damage to complement your teams with Galatea. You have I, AI Aquino. And you have Xantha Kane, Aoi, and Vazor Wind to round out your above average figures. They are very capable in clearing out content but they are not one of your um let's say near at the top or your a tier so you have here crusos one of our best uh, uh defenders uh, especially for tenma you have rin rin is is going to go down definitely um she's gonna be good going down probably next month because uh if if what i see is going to happen she is going to be replaced by what do you call this by dead master in some of the tenma teams but i'm putting her here for now because we still need to check out her worth and if she drops from the nearly at the top or your a tier chow chow is here as well harriet is here izumi um both vanguard and defender Crusell. Actually, Crusell uh, encountered her in PvP. Um, I think she's going to be doing good at PvP. That is why she's still here at near at the top. She really wrecks havoc in your, you know, in your opponent's PvP team. Then you have Yuncha. Zerola went down already from one of the top, uh, what do you call this, militarists that we have. She's gone down. Mako is here. Mako might go up might be one of our best healers because Mako is quicker in healing um, versus Zephyr. Um, she also gives crit. She has a lot of buffs. She might go up one tier soon. And we have Zuki Liang here to round out the near to the, at the top. He might drop down depending on depending really on how teams are built already. If they can survive well and if they can do without Zhu, Zhu Liang, then therefore he might go down. Okay, so best figures. We have uh, two changes. I'm, I'm sure you know who they are. We have Megan, definitely best defender. 
Uh, Zephyr is here for energy and healing. Erixia is for shared health. Asuni Miko, um, all around one of you know one, one of the best filterists we have. Ayane Okada also one of the best defenders because of freeze. Sakura because of her silence. Milim, uh, of course because of the AOE damage for the three lanes. Rimuru as well for AOE damage. Both of them specialize in AOE. And both of them are with our collab or previous collab. We have Mikoto Misaka here and uh, Kuroko Shirai also with our previous collab. So Mikoto can do a lot of damage in a straight line but also have AOE damage effect and Kuroko here has the ability to disable or to stun uh, very good in your uh, what do you call this your boss uh, stages so the last two that I'm going to be discussing would be Empress and Dead Master so both of them will be appearing in our collab for September 9 so Empress for her kit, I think she's going to be the best specialist around. Um, I don't see anybody rivaling her kit, especially with the crit boost that she gives and also the energy that she gives. It's it's. I seriously think that she's going to be OP. Um, you might not need Zephyr in the future. You might be using Empress and Mako instead. I'm looking at that as a possibility. If you are actually building Tenma teams, while for Deadmaster, you have Lifesteal, of course. That's uh, That should be standard in any Vanguard. You have Ignore Defense and you have Piercing as well. So she is also going to be one of your top Vanguards, especially, I think, if it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. So far, we have uh, Kuroko here, who is a shutdown specialist. Rimuru, who is an AoE specialist for Vanguard. For Deadmaster, she is going to be probably one of the biggest damages that I've seen because merely of her ignore defense and piercing damages built into her skill. Okay, so before I forget, we have Ultraman Tiga here to round out our top best figures for figure fantasy so i'm actually putting him here because again we don't have she doesn't he doesn't have any competition when it comes to uh being vanguard in galatea and for what he does in the damage he brings with um with his ultimate uh complementing his basic attack and the multiple attacks that he gives i think he deserves a spot at this tier with the best figure so i'd like to get your thoughts guys on what you think about uh ultra mantiga does he deserve to be one of the best figures or does he belong in the nearly at the top figures for figure fantasy Okay, guys, so that is it for our tier list for the month of September 2022. Again, I will put a link of this file in the description of this video for your quick reference. So thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.